it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to attempt to do the animatronic quests, the Ada timeline, you know what I mean? I installed a jetpack finally, really wanted that. So far, uh, there's only five people in the vault besides me and Nick. And, uh, we're gonna go and figure out the Ada thing. I'm not gonna lie, I tried this last night. And, um, the robots were a mess. Just, the quest was broken. The whole DLC was broken. So, um, we're gonna try it again. And if you're hearing this, that means that it was successful. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. It might be broken again. You see how these are not moving? Yeah, I don't know why. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. You'll need help if you want to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah. Let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Okay, I'm gonna send Nick to Sanctuary Hills. My hopes are not high for this quest. Or these quests. This DLC, all of it. I even uninstalled the game last night just so that 
I could like reinstall and see if it fixed it, but my hopes are not high. Where is this? I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. See how this robot isn't moving at all? Okay, die. I need to go back up through there. Okay, it's trying to move. See how they're just standing there? So weird. device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, my apologies. I think I've lost them. Okay. I'm gonna go to sanctuary. I think I'll just build it right here.
save. Anything I can help carry? Let me talk to Ada real quick. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Ada? Are you ready to install the radar beacon? It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Okay. Hey. Yes. Hey, Ada. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another Robobrain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Finally, we have an advantage. Perhaps, but it isn't quite that simple. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. All right, let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. All right, let's try this again. Um, this is when I was having issues last time, where I couldn't get the radar beacon, because the robot that I... Or the robo brain that I went to it was just like in a coma. Like I couldn't even steal anything from him, so I don't know. He didn't have anything on him because he was broken. So hopefully this will work. People look so strange without their clothes. Oh my gosh, I don't have my clothes on, do I? I forgot to put my, um, oh, I'm gonna avoid the Meyer alert. I forgot to put my power armor back on. I got to warn you on a new skirt. Don't be it. And destroy my robot allies. Only save your lives. <laughs> Ow! This quest is so broken. Just knocked me out. Hopefully this works. I come to warn you of a new Ah, it's gonna work. It's actually gonna work. So the last time it wouldn't blow up for me. So this is great. The quest is a little broken, might have to uh, cheat my way through, but at least I can get my uh, beacon. So I'm going to go back to Sanctuary. I can't fast travel, apparently.
Oh, I just had to move a couple feet over, I guess. <laughs> okay. Where's Ada? I'm just gonna go back over here. Alright, Ada. Heads up. How may I be Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Good work, Ada. Thank you. If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. I haven't come this far just to back down now. I understand that, but you should still proceed with caution. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, Despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Okay, let me go. Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. I know, so Preston, I know. I'm gonna go see what's going on. I'm gonna get my power armor back on. And let's go get the last one, I think. I'm just hoping this all works. I might have to do some um, rerouting on some of it, but hopefully the storyline will still Did be there, you know? No more hiding for you. Stranger. Get in there. See how they're just like dead. Thank you. 
can't even do anything. Can you please just be done? to be searching for, and you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Okay, so as soon as I take her, that dude behind her is gonna pop off. So I'm gonna just save it real quick, cause he's a beast. Okay. That's fine. 
So slow because I guess I have Based a bunch on of my coming. limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. I'm just gonna let my AP build up real quick. Let me see if there's anything I can drop. I think I'm just carrying like way too much crap. There's something in here I think I need though. Maybe. Yes. Uh, why must you humans always resort to violence? Ready or not, here I come. Well, surprisingly, I did it. Show your face. Come on. I dare you. Okay, I'm just getting far away from any enemies. Okay, let me see if I can fast travel. Okay, well it's going better than it did prior. I thought we were gonna have to skip over this one. All right, let's have a convo. Heads up. What can I do? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. 
We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. As a Christian, I already don't like Jezebel just because of her name. Plus, she's like really kind of just rude. I wonder why they picked Jezebel and Ahab for this game particularly. Like, do they really know who they are? Alright, let's make a new creation. And she's not gonna be happy no matter what. So... I'll give her a little paint job. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, 
I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. I think we have to talk to Ada now. Look alive. What can I do for you? I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. I got what we needed. Good. What did she say we need to access the Mechanist facility? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Okay, so because the mechanist layer takes so long, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and we will go and confront the mechanist, or kill the mechanist, I don't know, in the next episode. So thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! It's all over, but the cross. And nobody's crying but me.